Hey, everybody. Today's day 13, and we're on deck 9 on the Cook. Lubino side. If, if you don't count the day we got on as a day, so I'm not in these videos, so it's 13. Almost halfway. 13 is almost half of 31, right? I don't know. Maybe I won't count the last day either, so that'd be 29 days. Anyway, we're in the Lido Marketplace. It's the ship's buffet. And the camera is right there. So I keep looking at me on the screen it looks like i'm looking away and um, on the ship it's 10 30 in the morning yeah 10 30 a.m it's about 70 degrees out a couple days ago i wrote in my uh journal hi hi, hi jules hi mojo um that it was the first cold morning it had been hot and humid up until two days ago yesterday it was cool in the morning but it's in town, it was like warm. 75, or, you know, <laughs> I sweat most of the day. And I had been wearing a long sleeve shirt to get off the ship, but I went back and changed, luckily, because it, it was nice. It was a perfect day, Yes, you might say. Uh, and we visited, uh, it, we were in Hiroshima. Debbie, hello. Hi, Debbie. We were in Hiroshima, Japan, the site of the first A-bomb, atom bomb. Uh, and it was not a test. So it killed like 140,000 people. And there's all sorts of monuments there. Can you stand up and yell, Daryl? Daryl! Daryl! I'm not gonna stand up, because I, I, I gotta scoot out, and I'd be <laughs> off camera, and we don't want that. Anyway, uh, so it's full of monuments to that day you might say. And they've got a place called the Peace Park and, and there's displays and, and museums and- uh, The dome. They've got a place called the Atomic Bomb Dome <laughs> uh, that is actually a building, like a city hall. A blown out building. That's blown out, but it, it, the, the remains are there. And I would show you, but it's on my phone. <laughs> So uh, watch on Instagram, and our Instagram page, Port Monkeys on Instagram, or uh, Facebook page. I'll be posting pictures later today of at what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we're at sea today. Tomorrow, Tokyo. Anyway, the Atomic Bomb Dome is a building and they, they left it. Everything else has been torn down and rebuilt, modern. Um, and then about a block away from there, it, on, a, on like an alleyway, is a monument, and that was ground zero. Well, 600 meters above that it was ground zero, actually, but that's not in the park. It's, it's next to a 7-Eleven, yeah. believe it or not. So, uh, and there are 7-Elevens everywhere. Um, the cherry blossoms, woohoo! Somebody's having fun. So we're in the uh, buffet. I can't see them. Anyway, whoop. But it was uh, very somber. It yeah. really hit you My head walking tiny. through and re reading the monument. And now my head is tiny. Now my head is normal. Well, as normal as I could be. Um, yeah. So, so we landed in Hiroshima and took the shuttle over to the train station. The ship provided a free shuttle from the ship to the train station. The train was 230 yen each way, which is about $1.50. And it went mm, five, uh, I think it was seven miles total. So we would have walked, but it was seven miles. But it took you right to the center of... Yeah, right in the Peace Park. Peace Park. Tokyo tomorrow, yes. Yes. Tokyo tomorrow, I, we don't know exactly what we're going to do. 
on December next year for our first kind of cruise, or there's the onboard shows in the Uh, like any other show. <laughs> One day, the production show, all the dancers were sitting in stools because the seas were so rough, and they had a bottle of water to help them keep from getting seasick. So, it was not really a production show. Well, yeah. So there's production shows. There's singers. Just one person sings. You know, there was a person who did Adele the other night. Uh, comedians. Some of them are <laughs> not funny. But some of them last are night hilarious. Was, the two guys were hilarious. I mean, I was in tears. They were so funny. Um, uh, the juggler. We've had what? a couple jugglers. What, what room are you in? We're right? in the buffet. We're on deck nine in the Lido Marketplace. Um, so the, sh the shows are good. They're, they're entertaining. We've been to all of them. One night we skipped. Uh, we, well, I guess we didn't walk by that night. Uh, and also they do an afternoon show sometimes. So the juggler from two nights ago is going to be doing an, a show today at 2.30. So... But the shows are at 7.30 and 9.30. And our dinner is at 7.30. We have late dining. And on the when we first booked it, it said 8.15. But when we got on the ship, they, they said it, that we changed it to 7.30. And early is 5.30. 5.15. Oh, okay, 5.15. Anyway. So, subject to change. I don't care about <laughs> So, um, I started to say... <laughs> Cherry blossoms. There were lots of cherry blossoms. They had probably were at their peak a week ago, I would say. But we went to a lot of places where there were a lot of cherry blossoms. And the breeze was blowing, and so it was snowing cherry blossoms. Hey, Christina. Hi. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> uh, so we're hoping to get more cherry blossoms further on. We're, because we're, the weather's going to be colder as we go up. Yeah, we're heading north. And it might be freezing still, some of the places we go. Uh, I know the refrigerator in our room has frozen a bottle of water because I looked at it and it was, hey, that looks frozen. And I, uh. so our refrigerator, our room refrigerator is, is very cold. But very our cold. shower is very hot. Yeah, it doesn't get cold. Our shower does not get cold. It has We're two afraid temperatures. to say anything. Hot and scalding scalding hot yeah so we're afraid to say anything because then we might not have any hot water then we'll but, have cold and colder yeah you know the way it goes on the ship right <laughs> um and not much water pressure in the shower uh to the person who asked about the shows uh, we have a video on our youtube channel a uh, ship tour and somewhere in that ship tour I show a sample of all the shows and other things that happen on the board. There are three or four musical acts playing every night in different bars. So there's a guy, a girl playing a guitar, two people playing violin. A there's band. a there's a full band. There's a guy playing guitar while a girl sings, and I think a guy playing a guitar. And I mean, it switches off. And in each port, people leave and more people get on, more entertainers. entertainers. Yeah, so uh, actually some people on the cruise, not entertainers, but passengers, got off and they're going to meet us again in, you know, three or four days at our last Japanese port. They wanted to ride the bullet train and go to Kyoto and stuff like that, which we don't do. But you can do that but on a cruise. But you have to arrange it with yeah. The ship. You have to make arrangements. And then so, immigration. Otherwise, the ship's going to, you know, wait. Lose people. <laughs> a few minutes, and they're going to call your name, and, and then we're going to take off thinking we left you behind. So so don't do it on your own. Or arrange something. Anyway, I will say the train coming back to the ship, because it was, you know, towards the end of the day, and, you know, there's all aboard time. It was packed. And like it went, sardines. And it went very slow. And at every stop, more people got on and nobody got off. And and I mean, well, we had to stand and hold the little things like on a subway, you know. Uh, it, it was crowded. It was crowded. 
Uh, and a few people were in masks, but mostly the locals. But um, somebody did put on Facebook that they tested positive for COVID, so they're in their room being quarantined for three days. Yeah, only three days now. Um, I had 10. 10. <laughs> two years two ago. two ambulances as we were getting ready to leave last night from Hiroshima. Don't know what happened, but two passengers had to get off the ship by ambulance. Yeah. Um, we walked about eight miles yesterday. Yeah, after the train, around town, eight miles, at least. Um, you said the other night you was hop on, hop, had Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe you can go live on the bus. Uh, maybe, if they, if they have Wi-Fi and I trust it. That's the problem, is do we trust it? You know, I barely trust the ship's Wi-Fi. <laughs> but, but you know, and that's very sketchy. Uh, we we go live in ports, especially in Alaska. We will go live in port. Did you do, did you do a bullet train? No, we no. just did the streetcar train. Yeah, it's the slow train, the uh, non-bullet train. And you can buy an all-day pass for the train, not the bullet train, um, for seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like four fifty. Five dollars. Yeah. But we only we knew we only wanted to ride into town and back out. So we just spent the four four hundred yen each. Four sixty. Yeah. Two thirty each way. So um. Oh, we got into a garden for free because we're old. <laughs> yeah. If you're sixty five or older you get into some of the places. So bring for your driver's free license. Or a discount. But yes, make sure you have your ID with your birthday. Uh, and actually, if you're going to Hawaii or Puerto Rico or something, and and you're he old, he's going to try and do a bullet train in Tokyo. No, Jesse wants to Jesse talk, wants to talk more about Guam. What do you want to know about Guam? We went snorkeling. We saw an eel. Uh, Guam. We spent most of the day in in a shopping center. In, in a little mall because there was a snafu on the rental cars. So we spent like three hours sitting in a mall. Waiting for the drivers of the rental cars to come and get us. It was a prearranged snorkeling excursion. Not through the ship. That a couple people had put together that grew into about 60 people. And it turned into a big fiasco. A lot of people ended up going on their own instead, even though they had paid for the tour. And we thought about it also. But we ended up being able to snorkel for about... An hour total? An hour total. Two different places, half hour each or so. But we were supposed to go to four different sites and snorkel at each one. But we only paid $30 a person. We paid $80 a person to be driven around uh, Okinawa. What a waste. And the snorkeling, even with the snafu, was better. <laughs> yeah. Better than being driven around Okinawa because yeah. it was just too long on a bus. Too that was long on a bus. Called Easy Naha. Easy Naha. So, I do not recommend it. Yeah. Take a tour where you can get off and walk around. Um, about going live. No, Guam. Anything else? That's Guam. We got to drive by the shore in Guam and see... Big hotels of, Yeah, on there's the beach. a lot of big hotels. There's a lot of beautiful beaches that we passed. Yeah. Um, it reminded me a lot of Hawaii. Yeah, the weather was warm. The water was warm. It ended uh, up raining. But not just as like much Hawaii. coral as Hawaii, though. No. At least not where we were. And we went to two different places. Uh, the coral. But had... well, we thought of you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> it, it seemed like the coral had died off and was growing back. And it was green coral mostly. Green and then gray. You know, but um, about going live. <laughs> when we're in a U.S. port or Puerto Rico, Alaska, you know those places uh mexico too and canada our phone coverage covers us so we we go live so we went live last year out of you know ketchikan and juno the problem is the ship leaves those ports you know at five or six and so if we go live from them it'll be earlier in the day and we like to go live when our family can watch us of course today is saturday where you guys are i mean it's sunday the 14th here quarter to 11 in the morning your live signal is excellent today well, thank yeah you. Uh, and I don't know what happened yesterday I looked at my uh, 
our YouTube channel and there was like three or four lives that had streams that had started, started and failed. And when but we when we went to take the thumbnail, it kept taking it. Three over seconds and over, over. And over. Three seconds another one. Three seconds another one. And I finally had to shut off the app and, and open it back up. So I I don't know what the glitch was. And when we went back to our cabin the T V was the same way. Some stations you'd have some sound. Yep. And some stations you'd have a frozen picture and then everything was all choppy and so yeah, the TV really is, is last couple days has not worked right all the time. And for those of you thinking of bringing, you know, like your iPad and watching Netflix or whatever, it's sketchy. Uh, I tried to open Peacock, Max, uh, the Masters, and something else, and none of them worked. But when I opened Apple TV Plus, it worked. And I could get through to the other ones through Apple TV Plus. So if you're going on a cruise and you want to watch something that's not there, maybe you want to get Apple TV Plus. There's a plug. Is it a satellite TV? The TV's in the room. You're just hanging on the wall and plugged in. Uh, I tried to go on my phone because I have all those apps on my phone, right? The ones I have on my Apple TV at home. You know, streaming services. None of them worked, and other people said that too. Probably best to download your show's movie. Yes. Sure, if you have room on your phone. Or, <laughs> or I'm going to have to delete stuff off my iPad because I've filled it up with a GoPro video. I've got 85, 90 gigabytes of GoPro video on there now. But so. on the TV, the movies, they show like four different movies a day at various times. On different channels. Other than that, you just have either carnival shows or some nature shows. But they are not on demand. You have yeah. to, you know, it shows at four. There's a schedule that rotates, you know, day one, these movies, day two, these movies. And so you can sit there and watch that channel and write it down, I guess. I mean, I don't, we don't bother. It's like no movies worth <laughs> Sitting in through the cabin this. and waiting and waiting. You know, that's what I like about Princess. You get home, do you upload all your video content? Everything's on demand. We usually, Gareth will download everything and put it all together and edit it and everything. But this time, since we're getting off this ship and then three days later jumping on a princess, two we're going princess on the crown princess to Alaska for, for a total of 22 more days. 22. We, this will be late. It won't come out until early June, June. July. Jay, we are. Hey, Hi, Jay, Jay Moulton. Hi. How are you? Are you in Niagara Falls? <laughs> anyway, is it cold though? You should come on a cruise. Trans-Pacific, 31 days, right? Anyway, yeah, so what she said. Uh, if, if, if you've never been on our YouTube channel, of course you're on there right now, we have over 900 videos on there, so. And hello. Holy cow, you guys are getting your sea legs sure. Yes, oh, by we the are. way, we wear these. So that's a band-aid with a half a half a scopolamine patch. And sometimes we use just a quarter. Um, yes, I am. Good for you. Uh, glad to hear from you. So so we never get seasick. Change it about every three or four days. Uh, on this about every five or six days. Okay. The seas are pretty calm. We change it when we're in port. Yeah, we've yeah. only had one rough night. Uh, last night at dinner, though, leaving uh, Hiroshima, you know, we're, we're out kind of, there's islands. It's a big harbor and there's islands and, you know, it takes you a couple of years to, years, it takes you a couple of hours to get out to the open ocean. And I guess when we did, the ship went uh, like that and then like that and then like that and then like that. And you could hear stuff crashing like in the kitchen. And people were afraid, and people stood up like, uh, are we going to evacuate? And then it stopped. Another thing, when we got back to the ship yesterday, going down the gangway. Oh. The Hello. Hi, Em. Em. The tide had gone out, and so the gangway was like that. And the bulkhead was right here, and it was almost, you almost had to slide down to get onto the ship. I called it limbo. <laughs> but, 
but some then, people crawled head first, yeah. some people bent over and crawled butt first. And yeah, it was really steep. I have video but of it, I'll post. Then the gangway got wedged in and they couldn't get it undone. So they had to bring in welders and have them cut it off. None of us got seasick, but there, I'm sure there's people that are seasick. There's people that have fallen downstairs on this cruise or fallen over. Yeah, and yeah. There's, you know, every day you see somebody else with, with a, a cast with a, or in a, a wheelchair boot. that hadn't been there or crutches yeah. or something. So, but um, but that's on every cruise. I was going to say something and I can't remember. Uh, they had to grind the uh, gangway off. They had to cut it. You could we could see it from our window. Oh, oh no, we went up on deck three yeah. and watched, and uh, you could smell the grinding metal if you know what that smell is like. Uh, I bet you do, Jay. <laughs> Uh, so but it was it was kind of funny. But then they cheered when they got it finally loose. <laughs> but yeah, the the tide went down and the gangway was, you know, like that, and the opening was like half an opening. So anyway, well, this is 21 minutes. Yeah, so. and we were going to show you the buffet, the food that they had here for in the morning. But I think that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. No, the next day. Or the next day. We're in Tokyo tomorrow. In Tokyo I don't tomorrow. know whether we'll be going live tomorrow. Depends on the time we're able to get off the ship. Yeah. We're going to try to find a hop-on, hop-off bus. Uh, I think they're going to have free shuttle buses to a train station, and I think there'll be hop-on, hop-off buses there. Otherwise, we'll buy a subway pass. and you know, We've been to Tokyo twice, and both times we ended up at the uh, Imperial Gardens or, you know, the... the palace and, and you don't go in the palace you just walk up to it and look and I don't want to walk up to it and look although the cherry blossoms might be still bloom they I heard they bloomed a couple weeks ago so but we'll let you know anyway from the Luminosa I'm Janet I'm Garrett and we'll see you in the next port bye Christina bye Jesse bye Ashley bye Austin bye Jules bye Hostie Bye, Liam. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.